Hey, what's up YouTube? This is David coming back at you with another video. Today I'm going to show you what to look for when you're buying your first vending machine, your first combo machine. So one of the first things you want to look for is to make sure that you have the vending machine keys or that the person you're buying it from has the keys for the actual machine. You want to make sure you try the key, make sure it works, make sure it spins, make sure that it opens the vending machine one of the first steps another thing on the keys is that you want to make sure that the keys work both for the top portion of the snacks and the bottom portion of the drinks uh, what I've noticed is that sometimes um, one key opens both or there are two separate keys that open each compartment you want to make sure that you have both keys um, like this one just uses one key but some of my machines Use two separate keys, so make sure your keys open both compartments. Once you open the machine, you want to make sure that you locate this yellow button. Sometimes it's inside the machine. If it's an older model, the yellow button is going to be somewhere in here. But the newer models, the RS models, typically have the button up here. This is the option menu where you're able to look at a bunch of options for your vending machine. First one you want to go to is uh, the testing mode push enter you want to test the motors uh, you can either select a specific bin or you can um, do all the bins I typically do all the bins once you push enter you press yes and then that'll start um, winding each coil you want to make sure that all of the coils work that's all of the snacks and there are there's one coil, not coil, but a releaser for each one of the drinks. Um, sometimes I have had an experience where the releaser for the drinks doesn't work and I had to replace it. It's only about uh, 50 bucks to replace. You can definitely lower the price on the person if it doesn't work. Typically they'll, they'll bite and they'll take the lower price, but it's an easy fix. So yeah, test the motors. I'll test uh, one for you. I don't want to do all of them because obviously I have snacks here. So I'm going to go to cancel and I'm just going to test one, one bin. Let's test out A05, A05. You're going to see that it spins, the coil spins. So that coil is good. When you push all bins, it's going to go through each one, one by one. You definitely want to make sure that they all work. If they don't work, it's most likely because the connector is not connected right which is right in here sometimes these uh, wires are loose so all you gotta do is uh, push it in that should fix the problem uh, one of the things to check when you are checking the cooler section is to make sure that it, uh, that the machine is on and then uh, feel in the bottom here where these holes are at there should be cold air coming out through here the compressor is inside there and uh, you should feel coldness coming out from here this is what keeps the drinks cold if for whatever reason it doesn't um, get cold, you can always buy a whole new compressor. Uh, you can find them on eBay. I'll put the link on my description. Uh, typically they run two to $300. That's an easy fix. I'll switch the machine over. I'll show you how to replace the compressor. So another thing to check when you're inside the cooler, so you wanna make sure that these latches work. This is what secures the drink display. So you kind of just have to push it, push it in and pull out. And uh, voila, this is the drink section when you get to display your, your drinks that you're selling. So just make sure those latches are there. Another thing is that there are magnets holding this door. Uh, you'll see that the magnets, there's one right there, circular. And there's another one on the opposite end. And that's what holds the door secured so none of the cool air escapes. So that's another thing to note. I did buy one that didn't have this magnet. I didn't know. So I had to install some magnets myself. But yeah, make sure that, you know, that it secures properly. You don't want that air to escape. Machine, by the way, this is the, the brain. All the mechanism is in here. So you want to make sure that the coin mechanism works. What you do is you want to push the quarter button and it should release a quarter this is the nickels this is the dimes 
This one has a hard time, but it does work. Ugh. It does release it. I have tried. Oh, there you go. And uh, you should get your coins in there. So make sure that works. Um, what I've learned actually when I started the my vending business is that when you first buy your vending machine, you'll realize that your bill validator won't work. And the reason why it won't work is because you need to add coins to the coin mechanism and you need it, the machine, let it allow it to register coins and then the bill acceptor will start working. If you don't add coins, the bill acceptor sometimes doesn't work. So if you feel like your machine's broken, you barely bought it and uh, you're like, hey, why doesn't my bill acceptor take dollars? It's most likely because you haven't added coins to your coin machine. So add coins and then test out the bill acceptor. So this is the back of the machine. Uh, one of the things that you want to ask the seller is if they have the key for the back. The back opens. There's a lot of wiring uh, for the coils that rotate. And uh, this is how the key looks. So what you do is you just uh, test it out. What I found out is that if you have one of these keys, it typically opens all of the combo machines for the RS model. So it's a little hack. Um, you don't want to do that. Don't mess with other people's machines, but this one key does open most of the combos for this model. Uh, right in the back, you'll see all the motors for the coils. Um, you can easily replace one if one burns out. I think they're like 20 bucks on eBay or online. You can find those. These are the little wires. This, this wire here is what connects, what connects the bottom cooler compressor to the machine. So yeah, this is how the back of the vending machine looks. Only the, only the snack portions open up, the drink ones uh, does not. However, if you go to the bottom here, um, this is the back of the compressor. It's really easy. What you do is you unscrew all of these little screws. There's about eight or 10 of them. You pull this back cover off and the compressor is an entire compressor that pulls out together as a whole. Um, so when you buy one online, if that's what uh, you need, you take the whole compressor out, you put the whole new one in, you um, screw the, the back back on, and this plug is the actual plug for the cooler. So this is separate from the actual vending machine. This is the cooler uh, by itself. So this is the plug. And uh, this little section here is to control the temperature on your cooler. So as you see, uh, let's see if I can find it right in there. You use a flathead screw and you turn it to whatever temperature you want it. Typically when you put it at number five or four, it stays pretty cool. You don't want to do it too cold where the drinks freeze. And uh, in the back of the machine, you'll find typically that you'll find the key number to open up the machine. This key model number is a SM46. So if you get that, key you're actually able to open the machine up this is the model here the the cooler uh, model section is rs850 so that's for the cooler and the the snack machine is rs800 it is by a 1-800 vending i don't think they're a company anymore but there's a phone number and the production date so uh we're in 2019 this is a eight-year-old model so it's a, it's a fairly good model there's some that are older you want the RS model again. Another reason why I like these combo machines is that it not only detaches from the center for easy transportation, which uh, you have to go in here. There are four screws on each corner of the machine, inside the machine. They're easy to, um, to unscrew for easy transportation. But another reason why I like these newer models is that it has wheels in the bottom. That makes transportation so much easier. Um, it's an easy machine to move. Uh, it has lock brakes, so it doesn't move once uh, you're able to secure it. Um, it's a really good looking machine. The glass is easily replaceable. You can buy the glass at a uh, Lowe's for about 20 bucks for both uh, the drinks and the snack. 
that I really recommend this cobble machine for beginners. It's light, it's not heavy, it has both for snacks and drinks. It's easy to transport. You detach it from the center so it becomes two smaller pieces. Uh, you can easily just use a little U-Haul trailer to transport this baby and uh, you're ready to place it in a location. So that's typically what I look for before buying a machine, a combo machine. Again, this is a RS800, RS850 from 1-800-Vending. You can easily find one on Craigslist or OfferUp or any selling app. I typically buy these anywhere between three to 700, just depending on, on the situation, depending on the seller, depending on the condition, depending on the negotiations. Um, you can easily get one for two to $300 if you really negotiate the price and if it hasn't sold for a long time. Um, one more thing. This is a bonus. If you decide to buy an RS model, make sure that there's a, a square here. You'll typically see an extra square either above or below the bill acceptor. And what that square tells you is that there's an adapter for a credit card reader. So if it doesn't have an extra square, that means it's probably an old, older model, which those models are RC800. If you want to eventually put a credit card reader, buy an RS model and make sure that there's an extra square. It's usually covered, uh, just a black cover. It's hard to see. You really have to notice what you're looking at. And you want to buy one that has an extra square with the cover that, that is removable. That's a telltale that it's a credit card reader compatible. So this is it for the video. If, you ha if I miss anything, I'll update a video at some point. If you have any questions, let me know, comment, like, share. I'll be uh, post posting up more content soon. Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, thank you for watching.